Wait. I just realized something. When we were looking at the security footage earlier, we were just looking for live feeds. We were trying to figure out where the others are, what they were up to, if they were alive, and so on. But we totally forgot that security systems like this can do more than show you live footage. Are you following me? Yeah. I don't know how much luck we'll have, but it's worth a shot. Leave that to me. Well, it was designed so that a human could operate it. That means there's a logic to how it's set up. A computer computes, a calculator calculates, and an automobile mobiles. Everything's designed to do something, and once you know what, you can start guessing how. Once you start to figure out how to get it to do things, it's just a question of playing with it until it does the things you want it to. See? Knock it off. Makes it sound like you're better than me or something. Check the log. Damn it. This isn't good. Looks like all the video data was removed before we got here. That would be my guess. All it says here is administrator. Yeah. It might have given us what we need to figure out who the killer is, too. The camera in room two in the crew quarters would have recorded what happened to Alice and Luna. Same for the old woman in the warehouse. And if there was a recording of us being carried into the AB rooms, we could have even figured out who Zero Senior is. You want to open it? says Gollum status. Yeah, you mean the room full of robots on the other side of the green door? Here we go. like it. What is it? What do you mean? I thought you told me Gollum, or whatever his name was, started spitting smoke and keeled over. Already on it. There you are.
Interesting. This is the footage the Golem pulled from the main server. The original data was deleted, but it looks like the stuff he pulled is still here. So, if we go back through these files... Nice! Great work, Sigma! Good. Looks like they're both fine. You okay? You sure? That's good. You really looked like you'd lost it for a minute there. Your sanity is pretty easy to miss. I'm surprised anyone found it, let alone turned it in. Well, looks like I don't have anything to worry about. I hope that's all it is. You haven't... caught a disease or something, have you?
Well, you're looking a lot better, so I can stop worrying, right? Fine, no more check-ins. Anyway, I figured something out while you were resting. Come have a look at this. Footage from room two in the crew quarters. The room where we found Alice and Luna. I dug it out of Gollum's cache. We'll see you in a minute. Can you figure it out? Yeah, the central server seems to be using its own time system. Files appear to be named based on that system. They might as well be random to you and me, which made it pretty hard to find this gem. Yeah. I'll just pause that and magnify it. Exactly. Yes, after Kay leaves this room, it's about two minutes before he comes back with you and me. Right. Yeah, if you believe him. The footage here doesn't show any of that. I looked around, but I couldn't find one. The only stuff left is shot from this position. Even so, I think we've gotten our hands on something important. Exactly. Are you ready? Okay, let's keep going. I'll move back to the start of this file so we can see it in chronological order. Let's say this is zero hours, zero minutes. After all, it's not like we know what time it actually is. So, this is the start of our footage. Yeah, about a minute goes by before anyone shows up. This. Yeah, if I play it back at normal speed, I can measure time using this hourglass. Then I just add the time from the hourglass, and that's how far in we are. Yeah. This is zero hours, one minute. Right now, you and I are talking to Dio in the Floor B warehouse. With the time frame we've established, calculating what we're doing is pretty easy. Yeah. Want to listen to it? Don't know. The audio data must have been transcoded into something else. Seen enough? I'm going to fast forward a little bit. Clover's interrogation goes on for a while, but it's all pretty much the same thing. Now, at zero hours, ten minutes, things suddenly change. Here.
Yeah, this is the only one that I found. Shouldn't be too hard to guess what happened after you've seen the next part, though. Yeah, this is about a minute and 40 seconds after they both left the frame. So zero hours, 11 minutes, 40 seconds. Hold on, wait until you've seen the whole thing before you start deducing. At zero hours, 12 minutes, another person comes in just missing her. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that whatever it was, he doesn't want us to know about it. Remember what he said when you asked him about Quark? How the fuck would I know? I've been here. Yeah, so what would have been important enough for him to lie about it? We should consider that it might have been something bad. Yeah, I think so. Maybe he heard a noise. The cyan door opening? Now, ten seconds after Dio leaves, a fourth person shows up. That brings us to zero hours, thirteen minutes, ten seconds. And then Kay disappears too. If Kay was telling the truth, this is where he begins to try and resuscitate Luna. Anyway, nothing happens for the next 16 minutes. It's just this. So I'll fast forward, all right? All right, should be around here. One sec, okay. You should see something you recognize in a minute here. Yeah. We're back to 21 minutes before the primary doors open. For our arbitrary time code, that's zero hours and 29 minutes. One minute later, at zero hours, 30 minutes, Kay heads to the Floor A warehouse. That's all the footage I wanted to show you. I've looked at it carefully, and I think it has something to tell us. Well, I can't say for sure. This footage makes for pretty shaky evidence, but it does suggest a very likely culprit. Who do you think it is?
What makes you so sure? And you think that something was killing Luna? Hmm, it's not a very strong argument. Right now, the most likely suspect is Clover. Hmm, that is true. This footage isn't enough to tell us who the killer is. But if we take one other thing into account, then she starts to look a lot more guilty. What Dio said to us at the White Doors. Kay wanted us to go into the White Doors, right? You told him you wouldn't leave three people behind to die. What did Dio say to you? Use your fucking head for once. You're gonna get us killed. He would only have said that if he knew that only two of us would be going through the door. Do you understand? Exactly. If he hadn't known she was dead, he would have said something else. He would have objected the moment Kay suggested we go through the door. But he said nothing, almost as if he never expected her to be there in the first place. Now why would he do that? I can think of two reasonable explanations. Either Luna was already dead when Dio entered room two in the crew quarters, or he killed her himself. If the latter was correct, however, I suspect he would have behaved differently. If Dio had killed Luna, he would have made sure to do something that he thought would cast suspicion off of himself. Most likely, he would have asked about her absence. Although it clearly wouldn't provide an ironclad alibi, I imagine he'd think it would make him less suspicious. That's why it's relevant that he said nothing about Luna. Of course, this doesn't mean he's innocent of killing her, but it does make it seem a lot less likely. So, if what I'm saying is correct, what does it mean? Exactly. Clover also has a motive. Yeah. The movement of the AB rooms convinced Alice that Luna had killed the old woman. Once Clover realized that, she probably started to think that Luna had killed Alice to keep her from telling anyone else the truth. She probably led Luna to the crew quarters to confront her. Maybe she hoped seeing Alice's corpse would cause Luna to confess. Maybe she knew something we don't. But Clover didn't get what she wanted. Luna didn't confess. Then, during her interrogation, something happened. It's hard to say what. Luna might have said something that set Clover off. Or, maybe she admitted to a crime she didn't commit just to get Clover to stop. Whatever it was, something happened that drove Clover to murder. I would guess after she went through the yellow door, she would have been exploring the infirmary with Alice and Kay. That seems the most likely place to find it. Anyway, this is all just a theory, right? We don't have any proof, so keep it quiet, okay? No. Nothing to tell us where Clover, Tenmyoji, and Quark went. And nothing about the old woman or Alice's murders, either. Still unknown. I wonder if Clover's even alive.
I sure hope so. Yeah. All right, let's start looking. We'll go through the crew quarters and work our way toward the elevator. Got it? <laughs> Search rooms one and two. I'll take three and four. <laughs> No good. There's no one in three or four. What about yours? <laughs> Get it together. What are we doing right now? Right. I know how you feel, but sitting around being miserable isn't going to help anybody. Let's go.
They were in a blind spot. The security camera. Remember how we didn't see anything in the real-time feed in the security room? Yeah. Yeah. Whoever did this really didn't want them going anywhere. The chain's been looped around the pipe below the sink. Look, see the red marks on their wrists? They were trying to get the handcuffs off. Probably not. Then the blood on his clothes probably came from that wound. I don't see any others, at least. If this was the only one, it doesn't look fatal. I don't think he died from this cut. Yeah. You can see the marks on their wrists from where they were injected. The tubicurine must have killed them. Hmm. They wouldn't have been able to get through the white doors without Quark. Someone wanted to use the penalty to kill them. They didn't need to tie them up. Hmm. I take back what I just said. Yeah. Correct. It has 9 BP, too. There's no mistake. Your heart stops, your bracelet comes off. Hey, Sigma, calm down. Just because his bracelet's off doesn't mean Quark's dead. In fact, this could be good news. A ray of hope. Yeah, if Quark still had his bracelet on, then he would have ended up like Tenmyoji and Clover. But he's not wearing it. That means he might have managed to avoid getting injected with tubocurine. Yeah. Maybe he got out then. Why do you have to be so pessimistic? Have you actually seen Quark dead, huh? You need to think positive, Sigma. Reality is what we believe it to be. That's enough! Quark is definitely alive. He has to be. He has to be. I refuse to believe he isn't. I can't let an innocent kid like that get killed.
Examining their bodies, ten Miyoji first. Clues. To who might have killed them. Finding Quark's bracelet tells us something. If the killers saw it, that would make for an obvious motive. Right. That's my guess, at least. That's odd. I can't find anything. I should have found something. You remember when we ran into Tenmyoji in the rec room? He sprayed our wrists with luminol. I'm sure I saw him pull the spray bottle out of his pocket. Right. I don't know. I'm gonna take a look at Clover, too. Give me a minute. Look, see your thigh? Doesn't it look like there's something written there? I'm sorry, I'll have to move your leg a little bit. It says zero one six. Hang on, I feel like I've seen that somewhere. Zero one six. Zero one six. I know I've seen it somewhere. <sighs> it's no use. Can't remember. Anyway, these numbers have to have something to do with the killer. She must have written them after she got hit with the soparil. There would have been a few minutes before she went all the way under when she could have done something. I think she probably used those last minutes to tell the rest of us who killed her. No. There's also Quark. I mean, I'm not saying he did it, just... Thank <laughs> you. 
The luminol. I think there's a very good chance someone took the spray bottle out of Tenmyoji's pocket. Well, let me ask you this. Why do you think they took it? What would they need to do in order to do that? That's it? So? And that would mean...
Don't make me keep saying it. Quark's still out there somewhere. being ridiculous. Look at their bodies. There's an axe buried in Kay's back, and the spear has been thrust all the way through Dio's stomach. Do you really think a child Quark's size could do that? Ugh. Are you insane? And just when would I have done that? I've been with you this whole time. Checking their bodies like before. I decided to start with Dio. Yeah, two things actually. Take a look at this. Yeah. Dunno. It's not a name I've ever heard of before. But look at the handle. You've seen it before, right? Right. From the looks of it, I guess the blade is about 15 centimeters long. I'd say it's probably about 3 centimeters tall and 3 millimeters wide. Like, wound cavity, 150 millimeters. Wound length, 30 millimeters. Wound width, 3 millimeters? Hmm, all right, well, wound cavity would be the depth of the wound, wound length would be how long it is from top to bottom, and wound width would be how wide the flat end of the wound is. In other words... Right. 
Well, I was just eyeballing those measurements, so we can't be sure. He must have... gotten it from Alice. That would match up with what we saw. Right. Well, we can look into that more later. First, I want you to have a look at something else. Don't you remember what I said? I found two things. There was the knife and... This. What do you mean, that key? So, Alice should have had this, right? And now Dio's got it. So when Dio took the knife, he also took Kay's key. Oh man, you couldn't figure it out from the shape? Get over here. A picture's worth a thousand words. Let me show you. You remember this, right? Yeah, let's give it a shot. Oh. <laughs> it's no good. Can't get it open. Maybe the suit is powered, and it needs to be on in order to open. But with this axe in here... I think so. At any rate, the key fits perfectly. I don't have any doubt it's for removing Kay's suit. Hmm, I wonder... Yeah, no way we can get that mask off with our bare hands. Well, I still haven't checked him over. Let's have a look. Maybe we'll find something that'll tell us who he is. Look. A spray bottle with luminol in it. Yeah. We don't know yet. Kay might have taken the spray from Tenmyoji after he died. It's possible he made it through the white doors before we did, went to the infirmary and got this. Anyway, there's something I want to see. Turn off the lights. Yeah, if Kay used the spray before he died, we might still be able to see it. That's okay. 
If he didn't spray it, there won't be a reaction from any of it. Come on. All right, do it. Thanks. Hmm, just as I thought. Look, Dio's left wrist. Exactly. Because there are traces of blood on it. We've seen five people with serious bleeding. The old woman, Alice, Ten Miyoji, and these two here. I'm disinclined to think this is Dio or Kay's blood, though. See? If you look, it's been wiped off. Except for the luminol, the bracelet looks clean. Why would someone wipe blood off a bracelet after being hit with an axe or stabbed with a spear, and then spray it with luminol? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Right. Can I see the other side of your bracelets? Please, just do it. That would have meant he was looking for either Alice's blood or the old woman's. No idea. But whatever the case, Tenmyoji seemed to think that whoever had this bracelet was Zero Senior. Just relax, okay? That's all I needed to know. Neither one of you is Zero Senior. Are you saying that because there wasn't any reaction from the Luminol? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. The only thing I can say for sure is that there's a possibility that Dio killed the other six victims. Kay, perhaps? After he was attacked, he used the last of his strength. Huh? All of this would be over. This awful game would be over. An Ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. <laughs> Quark. Whatever. We need to get back to the Floor A warehouse. Hurry! Why would they run away? You must have taken one from Dio or Kay before we got to the rec room. We know they went through a white door, remember? 
We saw the footage in the security office. That means they had a star key just like we did. Right. That's impossible. You're being an idiot. It's much more likely he found the key card after they died. <laughs> Any ideas where to look? Hmm. Well, there's one place I'd like to check out. Come on. Right. Aren't you curious? Yeah. Probably belongs to the director. Chairs? what you think we'll find in there? Well, there could be anything in there. So, no, not really. That would make things easy. We'd settle things right now and then get the hell out. You don't need to keep asking me if... There's no one here. Yeah, maybe Dio and Kay did that. A lion. A sun? We probably can't use it unless we know what those are. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, just as I thought. Might as well forget about this thing for now. We can't get anywhere without a password. Let's see if we can find any other clues. This is the director's office after all. If we turn the place upside down, we're bound to find something. Shall we? 